All right, guys, today we're going to talk about a blade that hopefully I won't ramble too long about, but I will try to give you guys lots of eye candy because this is honestly one of those knives that like sometimes you sit there and you're like, sometimes dreams do come true. And uh, what we're talking about today is the Heretic Knives Manticore Axe. And this is obviously no normal Manticore Axe. This is the Bounty Hunter edition of that blade. And this guy is really really cool and like I said sometimes dreams do come true now I guess where I fit into this at least where I've like honestly thought about this knife pretty long and hard is that it's no doubt that uh, if you know me or you have been a part of my knife ventures for like getting knives especially EDC blades you'll know that for a very long time I have wanted a bounty hunter styled knife now originally or an OTF at least now originally Microtech released the bounty hunter um, ultra tech and then later the Bounty Hunter Combat Trudon. And those were really awesome blades. I'd actually tried to get them previously, but as you probably can already tell with things like this guy as well, they are incredibly hard to find because people love them. They love the style, love the look, and buy them immediately, right? And so they are not the easiest thing to get a hold of. However, I came across this bad boy and I was like, you know what? Might as well try to get it. And I actually ended up getting it and so this is a pretty pretty cool blade and while it is not an ultra tech or a combat trudon the heretic knives and manticore x i think is actually probably better and uh, i'm not just saying that because it's what i ended up with but the reason why i actually really ended up pursuing this over the combat trudons or ultra techs is partly because of its flip side so its show side of course is very traditional to the ultra techs and combat trudons that are bounty hunter themed they have the boba fett uh, styled colors with you know obviously the yellow the kind of teal colors and then of course your very prominent red um, mandalorian kind of logo to it but on the flip side i think what makes these bounty hunters all of them in general from the heretic knives like all of the heretic manticores not just the x but this carbon fiber side and i think it's really cool what they did with this carbon fiber side so it's not just carbon carbon fiber, but it is an exclusive uh, fat carbon fiber that has the same um, colors, the Boba Fett colors of red, um, teal, and yellow blended into it. And unfortunately, I'm not sure how well it will show up in the lighting. I know you guys can see the yellow here, but there's reds and greens all throughout this. And uh, I just think it looks really, really cool. And it really pops in the sunlight. Unfortunately, like I said, the lighting is not the best here, but uh, it really pops in the sunlight. And you can see those colors very vibrantly. But even at its core, just having that flip side be carbon fiber is really, really cool not to mention of course like i said you have the different colors like the clip is all you know war torn and uh, just like battle worn and red and it just looks great and then of course you come to this blade and it fires out so hard it's so cool i do really like it but uh it's a very very prominent tonto tipped blade and of course this is in cpm magna cut so it's using once again arguably a better steel than the trudons and um the Trudons and Ultra Tax, and it is in that very awesome Tonto version. Now, I do believe they made full serrated versions of this. This one, of course, is full plain edge, and I wanted to go with full plain edge because it is, it looks less cool than the fully serrated versions, it's true, but it is ultimately more practical and more usable. So that is kind of what led to that. And it's also too part of what I could find because obviously these things are like sold out everywhere. So good luck just trying to find, you know, like one of these in general, but um, yeah, this thing is just so freaking cool. I love the size. I love how freaking big this thing is. But at the same time, too, it's like not crazy unwieldable, but yet yeah, just really nice package. And then once again, of course, seeing some of that like battle worn kind of look on the blade already. So it is really cool. I definitely love this guy and uh, I'm super, super stoked. It's like every so often, don't get me wrong, I do like 
just about every knife in my collection. Like I really don't have any knives that I dislike because I would have sold them already. But every so often you just get the opportunity and chance to buy one of those blades that like the moment you get it in hand, you're just like, wow, like is this, this is actually a really, really sweet blade, right? So like you get it in hand and you're just like, oh my goodness. Like I got this on secondary and I kind of am still mesmerized that the guy that I got it from was even willing to part with it. Like I can tell you guys personally, um, and speaking because now I actually have it, but I can tell you personally, I would not and will not be getting rid of this knife because this is just one of those few. It's very similar to um, my Gavco Nurse where it's like, it's just one of those few knives that just is like, it means so much to you that you're like, why would I get rid of that? Like I d could not see myself unless I was like in dire straits or like really needed to sell a knife. Um, I do not think that I would part with this blade it is just too cool and like i said moreover too it's one of those knives that like i've my my friends uh, have um actually i think multiple of my friends have um bounty hunter uh, ultra techs i've handled them drooled over them took pictures of them and i'm like oh my gosh these are so cool and they like they love to show them off to me because they know that i have a soft spot for the bounty hunter um ultra techs and just otfs as a whole and they're like look at this cool knife and i'm like yeah that is really cool i definitely want one and i have been trying to find one so it's nice to kind of have a blade that it's like yeah this is what I have and uh, in my opinion I think it's a slight better or slightly better version of the Ultratex in Combat Trudon. So like not to say that I like to one-up my friends per se but uh, it is kind of cool to be like yeah this might just be a little bit better so anyways that is my look at the Heretic Knives Manticore X Bounty Hunter it is a really sweet blade hopefully you guys can just see how cool this guy looks you got the glass breaker on the back that beautiful carbon fiber on this side and uh, just looks absolutely gorgeous and like I said like if I could if you guys could experience, maybe I'll like hold it up to the microphone just to hear how hard this thing fires. Like it is so cool. Like it fires with some authority and uh, it is pretty, pretty darn cool. It has a bit of off factor to it. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just drooling over it. But I think that this guy is pretty, pretty darn cool cool so anyways every once in a while like i said you know i do love my trm neutrons and you know there are far more practical useful blades in my collection that will honestly see more pocket time than things like this but this is a knife that you know like if you want to feel special you want to feel cool like just whip this out and uh it'll definitely do that it certainly has the stage presence to feel cool so anyways guys hopefully that was entertaining and me just drooling over or fangirling over a knife but uh like i said i've wanted a, a bounty hunter of sorts for a while and i honestly think that this is probably one of the best bounty hunters out there that you can get either the manticore e or the manticore x i prefer the x because it's like once again this isn't something that's super practical it's not something i'm gonna edc all the time so it's nice to just have like a big awesome blade that has some presence to it and some wow factor so i like the x a little bit more than the e but the e is also cool and if you are actually interested you can still find e's um, the smaller versions of the manticore still in stock you can buy those they're not cheap these guys are definitely not cheap um, at all so good luck trying to find them but i'm glad i have one in the collection so anyways guys as always god bless and i'm out